In this video, we will learn about a new component from React Native Elements. It's called Tile. Tile is basically like cards, it's are like just cards and a convenient way to display related content about a single object. It's basically a, uh, made of a image and some text or icons on, of, on the top of it. You can use these uh, to provide uh, content on the image. You can also use this as a thumbnail and some play icons on it. If you have seen services like Netflix or Amazon Prime, um, they use these type of tiles to display the movies or seasons or episodes. You see the poster of a movie or season and you see the play or pause button on the top of it. So we can create easily with this tile. So first of all, create a React Native project and open it on Visual Studio Code. I already opened the iOS simulator, but if you are using the Windows machine, you can go with the Android emulator also. It works fine with both the platform. So first of all, you need to import the tile from React Native Elements just like that now let us create a simple tile which has some text on it uh, and an image tile it's a self closing element first of all you need to provide the image source require In my assets folder, I have one image called Egg Bruce logo. PNC extension. Let us provide a title. Title, let's say Egg Bruce. Let us provide captions. It will be like subtitle. Mm, let's say latest. Take updates. I mean to write the feature. So let me just save this. As you can see, now we are getting the image and uh, there, there is a text on over it. Let us take up that. You can customize the entire container by doing container style, or you can do the normal style also to apply the styling to the text. Now we will simply create a tile which looks like that it's a movie poster or a season poster, and we provide an icon on the top of it so it looks like the services that you have already seen now let me just delete all of that I have a poster require in assets I have this poster poster.png now I want to display the icon the name of that icon is play circle we need to provide the type it is font awesome by default it will be black so let us provide color also let us provide the size and set 30 now it is very important to write featured let me just save this and look as you can see this is how it will look like the play button of uh, on the top of it money has you can apply event to this uh, play buttons and it, it looks just like the 
a thumbnail that you get on the services like Netflix, Amazon Prime or you can also if you are creating app like YouTube you can also use this type. Now uh, if you don't provide the feature over here let me just show you if we have image uh, uh, image source icon and we have some title hello to our channel let me just save this and this is how it will look like if you don't provide the feature this text will be part of the tile component but it display below the image so if you want to provide the plot information like the plot of the movie or plot of the season you can write this all over here just like you see on the services uh, video services they have a movie poster and the play button on the top of it and the plot underneath the image now let me show you how you can attach a on press event on this tile first of all let us create a button um, function for the the function that we attach to this button const let's say display We'll create an alert dollar alert. Let's say money heist. The episodes are playing now. So this is our display function we can attach it to the on press let me just save this now if i pre press on this tile it uh, it triggered this function display and we will hopefully see this alert let me just click on this as you can see money highs the episodes are playing now so just like it you can um, provide on press on long press and different type of events uh, with the tile in real time application when you use this type of tile you can attach the functionality to play the video or video for the movie or episodes whenever you place on this tile so that's it this is how you can create the tile component for your app so that's it for this video thanks for watching it